Jules, hang on to him. Pump, pump, and wind, pump and wind. Before it goes in. Wind, 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 wind. Pump him up. Well, hello everyone. We're on a special little mission this week. I don't know if you can see uh, what Jules has got there. That might give you some idea where we are. We're over in uh, New Guinea, in particular New Britain, and we're going for a week's fishing, trying to catch a couple of those black bass. Um, something we've wanted to do for a very, very long time. It's been booked for a couple of years. COVID stopped us going. We were, just, we were only a couple of months out from going when COVID struck. So we finally waited COVID out, and we're here. So hopefully over the next, uh, six days we uh, might be able to get one stay tuned Uh, good morning. I'm not quite sure how much of this you can see, but the plan sort of changed a bit. Now going up to uh, where we'll be fishing in uh, Ultimate One. Lucky us. <laughs> Well, I'm not quite sure I'm in the wilds of PNG, but uh, we're giving it a crack. So, <laughs> my goodness, it is so hard not to have a beer right now. And now it's not a sunset.
You know, I'm just going to do some of the stuff straight over the top of what you just said. Okay, well, in that case, if you're going to cut out the sound of my voice, I'll keep talking. Thank you very much. Six o'clock, we're just heading back in. First creek we went to was upside down, a bit of rain last night. Uh, managed a, a nice uh, black river cod and a couple of strange looking trevally that we don't get, so a couple of new species. But uh, yeah, from there we came back around to another creek and uh, sort of caught the bottom of the tide, which isn't much chalk for black bass and spot tail bass. And uh, so yeah, it was a bit of a slog, but I you know, managed one small black bass in the end. So tomorrow's another day, and yeah, can't, can't complain about the view. There's the view. Look at me. You get your lure? Get the lure, yes. Day two. We're uh, heading back down to the west of Baya village. Down to the Langi Langi. Jacob reckons do a good show in there. Maybe even on the fly rod, a little bit less current. It's bit difficult with the fly rod um, in those upper sections of the river. But we did the, the pandy pandy this morning, so yeah, we'll give it a go.
I'm not sure how much you can see this, but we are watching the state of origin at Boya Village. And there would be 150 people crammed around a small TV. <laughs> Queensland are in! It's a Queensland crowd! Day three. We are back on the water. Heading to the Torio River, the one we went to the other day, which was dirty. The roll on the dice. Going to see if uh, it's clean a little bit. And then uh, come back to another one just back for this way, Sai River. Jacob reckons we're going to go okay today. Yep. Yeah, all over it. We're a little disappointed about the football last night, but I don't think I've ever had a cooler experience watching a game of rugby league, let alone a state of origin. Although I must admit I was quite surprised that half the crowd was going for New South Wales. But anyway, on to game three. And yeah, let's go. media mod thing for the camera playing up so hopefully you can hear what I'm saying but uh, heading back up this way to the pandy see if we can get a big spot tail bass and uh, maybe a black bass later we'll break it up in the middle of the day today we'll come home and we'll uh, have a bit of lunch here go okay, say g'day thank you to all the villagers for letting us be here and uh, let us gate crash their state of origin party. But yeah, what an awesome, beautiful part of the world. mouth of the pandy now. These guys are all here in their dugout canoes just collecting stuff and we've got a fair bit of gear on board. We had a bit of a drama. Couldn't go up past the log dam where we wanted to go for the big spotties. This is the trim motors 
shit itself on the engine, but you know, that's boating, that can happen wherever you are. So yeah. There you go. Jacob tells me that uh, these guys here, they come from that point up in the distance, so they, uh, some walk along the beach. Yeah. Kids, it's kids on holiday apparently, he reckons. The kids are having a holiday, and they, and then they, uh, some paddle the canoes with all the gear in it, the others walk along the beach. Sometimes I reckon we're just missing the point of it all. Okay, Jacob tells me that is Mount Ullavun, and it's the seventh largest active volcano in the world. We had a bit of a good tremor. Did you hear the, feel the tremor the other morning? About half past four, big tremor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A young one? Yes. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Stevie. Come on. Come on. Stevie. 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 Name Blongham. Oh. Stevie. Our <laughs> yeah, yeah. dog is named Stevie. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh. Stevie. Oh. Stevie. Simo from Tavo. 